Not since the days of cement or steel plants in Duluth has the city prepared for such a large wave of people moving into town in such a short amount of time. They'll be going to our schools. You know, they'll be going to um, work in our community. The spouses will be going to back to school as well or working. So it's going to be an infiltration for a while. Jennifer Coleman leads a team that will help ensure a painless move for the 44 active duty Air Force members and in some cases their families. The opportunity to come and live in a community rather than on a military base is going to be a big change. So we're going to try to make it as simple as possible. Coleman's team will solicit sponsors to help the newcomers find transportation, schools, grocery stores, and most important, housing. And that's where it gets tricky. The Duluth Chamber's Military Affairs Committee says the greatest and most surprising challenge of this entire process has been finding housing for the airmen. I think we went on the assumption that Duluth, because it's a college community, has a fair amount of housing. And then we reached out to the, to the local Coast Guard because they have active people that use housing. We asked them what housing is like. They said it's terrible. The red flag prompted the creation of a special task force to investigate what's available in and around Duluth. They're working closely with property owners to solve the problem. So we've done a lot of work with the Chamber of Commerce to really try to get a much stronger housing presence in the type of housing they want, the proximity they want it, and at the price they want it. The clock is ticking with all the Air Force members expected to arrive by the end of this year. Our job is to make this work and we want them to feel as comfortable as possible once they're here. It is vital for our community to accept them. Embracing new neighbors with a potential economic impact of $5 million. In Duluth, Kevin Jacobson, KBJR6 and Range 11.